Well, as Israel continues to pound Gaza Strip after Hamas's deadly strike on its territory, countries across the globe have reacted to the situation, calling for de-escalation and immediate ceasefire. The war has resulted in more than 1,500 casualties on both sides, while Saudi Arabia has called for de-escalation of the conflict. Russian President Vladimir Putin is reaching out to countries in West Asia, while squarely blaming the United States for the situation. Sharpening its attack on the United States, Putin said the surge of violence between Israel and the Palestinians showed the failure of U.S. policy, which he said had sought to monopolize negotiations while ignoring Palestinian interests. He was speaking to Iraqi Prime Minister Mohammed Shia al-Sudani, who was in Moscow for a bilateral meeting. Я думаю, что многие согласятся со мной в том, что это яркий пример провала на политике Соединенных Штатов на Ближнем Востоке. Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas is also expected to visit Moscow as the crisis in Gaza worsens. The war may have cast a shadow on Israel-Saudi Arabia ties as Saudi Arabia is holding talks with countries in West Asia while reiterating Palestine people's right to achieve their legitimate rights. Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman called on Egyptian President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi. Both sides agreed on the necessity to intensify international and regional efforts to halt the escalation in Gaza and its surroundings and prevent its expansion in the region. When asked whether the conflict between Israel and Hamas would impact economic agreements, UAE's trade minister said that his country does not mix the economy and trade with politics. Iran, which has been suspected of fueling the conflict, has now issued a clarification. Iran's supreme leader, Ali Khamenei, says Iran was not involved in last Saturday's attack by Hamas on Israelis. In the که تجدید بنای اون سازه ها به این آسانی امکان پذیر نیست. Turkey has meanwhile offered mediation in Israel-Palestine conflict adding that there could be no peace without an independent sovereign Palestine. King Abdullah II of Jordan has announced directives to dispatch humanitarian aid to Gaza through Egyptian Raza crossing. On a visit to Germany, French President Emmanuel Macron said the blackmail by Hamas was Odish and unacceptable. That's odious and unacceptable. Macron and German Chancellor Olaf Scholz acknowledged Israel's right to self-defense, warning against regional escalation, while UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak reached to Jewish communities in Britain saying that he would work to make sure they felt safe after the devastating attacks in Israel over the weekend. Condemning Hamas attacks, Japan said that attacks against innocent civilians could never be justified, adding that there were no reports of harm to the lives of Japanese nationals stemming from the conflict. China says it is verifying information on reported Chinese casualties in Israel. We have that the 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 中方愿同各方保持沟通,为中东和平稳定,不懈努力. Meanwhile, Israel has said it had largely secured the Gaza border and was evacuating nearby towns where the bodies of 1,500 Hamas militants have been recovered. The World Health Organization called for a humanitarian corridor to be established into and out of the Gaza Strip so that civilians can get access to critical medical supplies. According to the United Nations, more than 200,000 people have been displaced in the Gaza Strip since Hamas's surprise assault on Israel. It said that Israel's total siege of the Gaza Strip, depriving civilians of goods essential for survival, is banned under international law. We remain extremely alarmed by these rapidly escalating events. As of last night, Israeli reports indicate that more than 900 Israelis, including foreign nationals, have been killed. At least 2,616 people have been injured, according to the Ministry of Health in Israel. Meanwhile, according to the Ministry of, of Health in Gaza, at least 687 Palestinians have been killed, 
and 3,800 others injured. An additional 17 Palestinians, including four children, were killed and 295 were injured in the West Bank. Displacement has escalated dramatically across the Gaza Strip, reaching more than 187,500 since Saturday. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.